squamous lung cancer uh, has the um, has the uh, sort of uh, title of the first lung cancer to have gotten an immunotherapy approval in 2015 based on the Checkmate 17 trial. So we've been using it actually for a while over the past couple of years. Um, and so that certainly was very big news because the field of that, uh, of squamous lung cancer has been stagnant really over the past, I would say 15 years. So we really haven't had a new, like a brand new therapy in this disease de designation for a long time. And this was the very first. Uh, quickly thereafter, there were a couple of other drugs that uh, were approved, atezolizumab and pembrolizumab also. And then the next biggest splash was a year ago with the Keynote 24 study that showed that pembrolizumab was better for a subset of patients in the first line setting, uh, much better than chemotherapy uh, has been. And so for that subgroup of patients, a big advance also. Uh, there were some updates that I gave on chemotherapy options, uh, which before the era of immunotherapy was sort of big news, but in the wake of immunotherapy, uh, I think the um, enthusiasm for this has, has been uh, sort of uh, a little bit uh, less, uh, in part because of toxicity, in part because of uh, modest efficacy.